Hi everybody, so our Christmas present appeal in partnership with the Salvation Army has come to an end. So we thought that we would give you all an update to let you know how many presents we collected and how successful it was and also where the presents will be going. We launched the appeal back in November with the aim of giving as many children as possible in Peterborough living in refuge or poverty the opportunity to have a present to open at Christmas. The present appeal is aimed to help children who otherwise wouldn't really get to experience the magic of Christmas. They're children who are living in refuge, escaping domestic violence, um, they may have lost their parents or otherwise the family has just fallen on hard times and just doesn't have enough to survive. The Salvation Army aims to help these children with their present collection and for the past two years we've been helping them. So last year we started the appeal and we managed to collect over 600 toys for families and children living in Peterborough. Whilst we set the bar extremely high last year we just wasn't sure that we were going to be able to be our own personal targets this year um, and collect more than 600 toys. Due to a last minute donation from Keystone Communications we were able to smash our target and enter quadruple figures for the amount of presents that we collected, totalling in the region of 1000 plus toys. So one Friday, with the help of our entire production team, the whole team at Salvation Army and myself and Megan, we managed to pack all the toys away in under 10 minutes. we went back with the Salvation Army to their HQ to see what happens with the toys after they've been donated. We were greeted by Judith, Gary, Lorraine, Susie and Bev who showed us how they sort the presents. It's done in tables, each one labelled by gender and by age. After showing us the ropes, they gave myself and Lisa the chance to sort some of the presents ourselves. It was a bit more daunting than we could have imagined, trying to sort out each toys into piles which would best suit each age range. So after a short while, we handed the reins back to the professionals. Before we went, we thought that each child would just get one present, but whilst we were there, we were showing what goes into each gift bag. So each child gets approximately two good gifts and a few stocking fillers. Some of the families who are in need of a bit of extra help also get food parcels along with their gift bags. It was a great experience and really worthwhile going along to see what happens on the other side once we've donated our presents and how they get distributed. We would like to say a really big thank you to everyone who supported us through this appeal. That's to all of our suppliers, friends, families, local businesses and people within the community. Without your kind and generous donations, none of this would have been possible. And finally, we would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas from the whole team.